Listen, are we burning out technicians? Uh, look, 100 million lines of code, electrification, hybrid, all this technology. The average technician, my feeling right now is burnout as an industry shop owner. As I'm looking at as well, would you go to a four-day work week? Would you incentivize a four-day work week, give someone time off, but include once a month mandatory training, and there's more buy-in? Do we need to change how we operate as shop operators? Everything's on the table. Everything as a shop owner is on the table. Everything that they're discussing, I have to take responsibility for as a shop owner. Because I'm the one, I'm, I'm the... I'm the output of all that goes into this industry, the technicians that are being trained, the parts that are being sold, manufacturers involved. I have to be able to be confident enough in my skin to be able to look that customer in the, in the eyes and say, the cheapest way we're going to be able to do this is you're going to pay somebody really good money to get really good work done on this really good car. And that's as cheap as it all gets. And it's, it's what I've come to call transactional gravity, and yet we don't practice it. And yet we have suppliers out there, the ones that won't be here next year or the year after, that think they've got to sell me the cheaper rotor, right? Like, you, you think that I got here because I need you to sell me a part cheaper? And so we have to get out of that mentality to say nothing of the fact that if we were to start getting, if we were to start regulating our industry better, if we started giving the, the, uh, the, the, the regulatory, the, the ASEs of, of our industry, if we give them a little bit more authority, if we said to the states at large, so you know what, we as an industry consider you have to have ASE certifications in order to, and, ha and have the states, to be able to say to the states, this is what we believe to be a, is the standard of our industry. Yeah, Just I gotta, I gotta jump in. Scott, to speak on this, value is what you presented. We're not looking after uh, a, a, a disc brake rotor that has less veins, hence less cooling, hence comeback, hence pulsation. So our technicians are getting training. Scott, where are we falling short? Like we, some of us want to raise our labor rate, but we don't understand that we're, we, we got to raise our value proposition, we, how we present the work. Yeah. Are we? Yeah, I think the, the biggest thing is that we're not giving these guys a J-O-B. We're, we're giving them a career. This is a career. And yeah, the attitudinal state needs to change at the management level. And we bring these guys in and they need to be treated like career professionals not giving this guy a JLB. So, yeah, I think uh, the maybe changing the work environment, uh, make it more appreciable, because really, you know, I remember working 50, 60 hours a week as a tech and just busting your butt to, to make a paycheck. And that, man, that just is not sustainable, you know, yeah. it's, it's crazy.